Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. And this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the effect command in Minecraft. So I'll be going over the command in both Java Edition and Better Edition. But we'll start over in Java Edition and then move over to Better Edition afterwards. So if you like Mega videos like this one, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Mega videos like this one. But we will get started. So the effect command is a pretty basic command but i will show you what you can do with it and it might be more than you expect so the basic idea of the effect command is of course that you can give yourself potion effects with it without having to drink potions or use splash potions or stuff like that so of course you need to have commands enabled and cheats enabled as well so you can use these commands and so of course minecraft already gives you some options so there's effect clear and effect give of course if you don't have any effects then effect clear doesn't make sense so we'll start off with effect give so next we have to specify to who we want to give it so we can give it to all players at a all entities at e the nearest player at p i believe a random entity at r and at s a specified entity which in this case doesn't really matter or just the name of the player so we'll do that in this case so that's me and then here we can choose from which effect we want to give the player and so this is every effect in the game and just to show it off let's just for example do jump boost why not so we'll select jump boost pressing tab and the next there are some more things to insert here so first of all is the amount of seconds you want the effect to last so if we set it to 60 it will just last for 60 seconds and then the amplifier is the strength and so this might be a bit strange, but if you fill in zero, this means we will get jump boost one. Fill in one, we get jump boost two. So just add one to this number you add at the end here. And that's the level of the effect you will receive. So let's say we want jump boost two. And then there is something at the end here. It says hide particles. And this is very helpful, actually, if you're making videos or if you just don't want to see the particles of the effect. And so all you need to do if you want to hide the particles of the potion effect is here type in true. And this means that you won't see any particles, even if you have particles set to all. So let's give this to ourselves. There we go. We can see that we have the jump boost. I already have night vision from a previous command. And you can see something strange there. So for the jump boost, of course, we set it to 60 seconds. So we see it count down. But for the night vision down here, we see that it doesn't count down. And that's because I filled in such a high value that it doesn't actually display here. And it just means it is infinite. And so also we see that the jump boost is indeed level 2 as we specified. And so now we can take a look at the second effect command. So that is effect clear. And this just removes all the effects from you or a specific effect. So once again we can type in all of the different selectors here. We'll just once again do our own name. Then if we just press enter here it will remove all our effects. So we can try that. There we go. Now it has removed all our effects as we can see here. And now we can apply a new effect. So this time let's actually do a very long time. As you can see if it turns red. That means that it's too long of a time. So just remove one zero at the end there. This will definitely be infinite. Also I'll leave the commands in the description down below. So you can copy them over and use them immediately as well. And this time let's not hide the particles. By not filling in anything there. Or by just adding false at the end. Same thing. This time let's say we want jump boost 3. Alright. Enter. Now we see we get the particles. Very, very nice. Of course, you can hide them once again with turning your particles in your options menu to minimal, but you can also get rid of them with the command itself. So here we now see, indeed, there is no timer below here because the time we filled in is too high. And so now we get the jump boost level 3 for an infinite amount of time. And now just to show off the next part, let's also give ourselves some night vision. Of course, night vision doesn't have more levels, so 0 is perfectly fine. There we go. And now we see our particles also change color slightly since once again we didn't hide the particles and so they combine into a new color. So now we have night vision and jump boost. And now let's say we only want to get rid of the jump boost. So once again we use the effect clear command. But this time at the end we fill in a jump boost and then enter. And now we will see that the particles change color once again to blue, which is the color for night vision. And we only have the night vision and no longer the jump boost. Then using the effect command, you can also get effects with higher levels than you can get with just potions. So for example, with potions, you can only get jump boost level 1 and level 2. But as we already saw, we can also get higher levels of jump boost with the effect command. And so this can get pretty crazy. So the highest level here you can get is 255. If we go one over, we see that we get an error here. So it has to be maximum of 255. And when you get to these high levels of jump boost, it gets a little bit crazy because it actually stops working. As you can see, I'm just jumping. 
nothing is happening. And so generally, if you stay below 128, it should be completely fine. So let's try that. Let's try 127. There we go. We see it works just fine. And we get up to very high Y value, 450 there. So in general, I'd recommend just staying around levels below 128. Anything higher than that, then it could just break. And also, if you look in your inventory, you can now not see the level of the jump boost. So that goes away after level 10. So we can see that the maximum number you can see there in the inventory is if we use the amplifier 9, we get jump boost level 10. And then once we go over, so we remove the jump boost first to get a new jump boost that is required. Otherwise, it won't work. So now we get jump boost level 11 and we see that there is no number next to it anymore. But it is still a high level of jump boost and you will be able to jump higher if we go up more levels here. So there we go. That's how to use the effect command on Java Edition. That's everything there is to it. So now we will move on to a better condition to show off how to use command over there. All right, so here we go. Here we are in a better condition. And the effect command here is pretty much the same, but it's slightly different. So we'll go over it here as well. So once again, just type in slash effects, of course have cheats enabled, have commands enabled, all necessary for this to work. And this time we can't do clear or give first. No, it's just slash effect, then the player. Once again, the same options as in Java edition. And here we also see what the different at letters mean. And so in this case, let's just do at P since we are always the closest player. And now we have some different options. So either we can fill in the effect we want or we fill in clear. Of course, we don't have an effect yet. So we'll just fill in a normal effect. So let's say speed. Then we specify the amount of seconds. So let's say, I don't know, 100,000. That would be infinite pretty much. Then afterwards, the amplifier, same thing as in Java Edition. If you fill in zero, this means you get speed level one. Fill in two, you get speed level three and so on. So let's say you want speed level one. And then once again, we have the option of hiding the particles. So yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's hide the particles by typing in true. And that is the entire command. Now we have speed one for 100,000 seconds. Now, sadly, I can't check the effects in better condition here, but we see the effect on the top right hand side of our screen. So it has worked. We also don't have the particles, so that all looks good. And now to clear the effects, you can use effect at be clear. And here we can't actually specify which effect to clear. So you always clear every single effect here. So we just do at clear and then we get rid of all the effects. And then if we, for example, wanted speed level four, and this time we don't want to hide the particles and we only want it for, let's say 10 seconds like this. So that would be the command here. And this time we would see the particles. There we go. We have speed four, which actually goes very, very fast and it will run out after 10 seconds. So there we go, and it's back to normal. And so that's all for better condition. There are a couple less features here, like you can't clear just a single effect, and you can also not see the effects that well. It's only in the top right hand side of your screen here, but it's still way, way better than using potions in creative mode. So there we go, that's pretty much it. That's how to use the effect command. If you have any more questions about the effect command, then leave them down in the comments down below, and I will try to help you out. And so if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one. I want to thank my tier three member, this Mikalar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier three member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this video, I hope you all in the next one. So until then, Bye bye. <laughs>